This is Nick Peters with Comcore's video blog, What Were They Thinking? Skincare company Nivea is known worldwide for its skincare products, most notably its white colored skin cream. The company this week pulled and apologized for an online ad campaign promoting its new antiperspirant named Invisible in subtitled Black and White. The ad, which was posted on Nivea's Facebook page, generated a storm of controversy claiming it was at worst blatantly racist and at best simply stupid. The ad featured the head and long hair of what appeared to be a white robe clad Caucasian woman shot from behind under the words, white is purity. Social media response was vicious and the situation was aggravated when a white supremacist group hijacked the ad and promoted the product's purity. What were they thinking at Nivea and its agency when they created this ad? This is especially surprising considering that six years ago Nivea was hammered for an ad for men's grooming products with the tagline, Re-Civilize Yourself. The ad featured a conservatively groomed African American man throwing away a mannequin head with an afro hairdo. So many brands have suffered highly publicized reputational damage recently from ill-advised campaigns and promotions. You would think Nivea's creative, social media, and PR teams would have gotten together to carefully vet the antiperspirant campaign for any potentially offensive odor before they ran with it. For Comcore, I'm Nick Peters. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter.